Today I'll be demonstrating the Singer Automatic Zigzagger Vintage Sewing Machine Attachment. Use this attachment in place of your regular presser foot to convert a straight stitch only sewing machine into a zigzagger. This particular zigzagger is a 1950s model for straight shank sewing machines. The manual advertises it is for the class 15, 201, 221, and 1200 sewing machines, but I had no problem hooking it up to my Singer's class 66 sewing machine. I was so excited to unbox this one. I picked it up at the thrift store for $30 Canadian, a great score. It came with the zigzagger and four stitch patterns. You can buy more stitch patterns separately, so I'll definitely be hunting for those. Let's try this attachment out. To attach this to your machine, remove your regular presser foot and thumb screw. Gently guide the zigzagger into position, hooking the fork arm of the attachment onto the hub of the needle clamp. Tighten the clamping screw of the zigzagger tightly onto the presser bar. You may want to use a screwdriver. Here's a closer look. Since the blind stitch pattern, a curved line pattern, was already loaded, I tried that one out first. The width of the stitch is dependent on the bite regulator, this metal sliding piece on the left side of the zigzagger. Slide the bite regulator towards the back to make a narrow stitch, or slide it towards the front to make a wide stitch. See how much of a difference that can make to the style of the stitch? You can also modify it even further by adjusting the stitch length on your machine. Next I tried out the zigzag pattern, the namesake of the attachment. You can see that the attachment is actually moving the fabric, not the needle. First I did a wide zigzag, then a thin zigzag. You may think it would be a hassle to use this attachment because you would need to switch between regular straight stitching and decorative stitching in the same project, but it's not a problem because with the flip of a lever on the right side, you can switch between straight and decorative patterns without removing the attachment. You can switch the stitch pattern by lifting the lid using the lip on the right hand side of the attachment. Remove the pattern and replace it by rotating the new stitch pattern until it clicks into place. 
Close the lid, then turn the stitch pattern until the arrow lines up with the little line on the right side of the lid. You're ready to sew. Thanks so much for watching another vintage sewing machine video from Craftcore. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more vintage sewing fun. Happy crafting everyone!